button hook to button that up. We don't have any zippers, no Velcro in our club at all. So yeah, it's all lace up, um, button up. We do, they do boots sometimes. Also for some of the more formal events, they wore little shoes. Uh, you can see by the, the heel on these, that's called a, it's called a French heel or a Louis XIV heel. So that was real popular in the time. So she's got boots on. Um, she's got silk stockings on. Beautiful long silk, silk stockings. So a lot of the times the fancier ladies would have embroidered these, um, but they were always made of silk, something real fine. Are they silk knit or silk fabric? Are they silk knit or silk fabric? Was that They're question? silk yeah. knit. They're they silk should be knit. silk knit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, you have to be able to How far up the stretch. Uh, these go up to your knees. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah. We, we represent the higher class ladies, so a lot of the stuff that you see wouldn't have been necessarily Wild West because Wild <coughs> West, they just did what they could. They didn't have to put on all these layers. This was the upper class cosmopolitan woman that was probably from the city. She had several servants to help dress her, so and you would have never seen her in this attire. No. No. You wouldn't even e probably have seen a high class harlot in this. This is something that only very, very low class kind of throw a sheet on the ground girl kind of would, would have worn. So. <laughs> uh, she has bloomers on. Historically correct bloomers are split crotch bloomers. So we have some of those. She doesn't have them on because this is a PG show. So. <laughs> but this is what they look like. This was obviously access to use the potty because we have so many different layers on you would have to do something like that. So and they're very convenient. Yeah. They are convenient. <laughs> She has on a uh, camisole or a corset cover. No, chemise. This is a chemise, sorry. Um, and that goes underneath her corset so that there's another layer. Sometimes there is a corset cover that will go over the top of her corset as well. Next layer? That would be a corset cover. Next layer. We have a chemise. Her um, corset was is lace up. It's got the extra stuff in front here. This is all period correct material. Sometimes they would have used silk. This is a real rugged material, so it's pretty pretty doable. But all the lacings in the back there. Call mm -hmm. Okay, you got a corset cover on. Okay. Um, women of the era. Do you guys want to help dress here too? I don't know. Okay. I can talk. <laughs> Women of the era wore several petticoats, um, sometimes up to 12. The more stature you were, the more layers you had on. And one of the reasons was because the men showed you off. You were a trophy for his wealth. So you had all these different layers on to give the effect that we're looking for underneath our clothes. So it held the dresses out. It uh, gave the proper... Uh, look, they, they really wanted a tight waist back then, so so hence the corset. And this gave the, the dresses kind of their flair for all the uh, different layers that were going on. How many petticoats do you have? I have three. One with a train. Okay. okay. I don't... A purpose for the ruffling? Yeah, that gave that gave a to little bit fullness. more shape as well to the as the ruffles. Um, like modern day stuff has has that um, coarse kind of what is that what is that stuff called? Tool, tool, tool has tool, but they didn't have that as much back then. They had a silk version of it, but the ruffles really gave it more fullness. And now this second layer wouldn't it smooth out the ruffles? I mean, why? It why still gives it shape. You see how it's still what's holding its that purpose, out. What's its purpose though? Gives it just gives it more body. The, um, the buckle really came about in the 1870s. In the 1860s, you see the bigger hoop skirt. Mm -hmm. And what they started doing is starting pulling some of that fabric to the back and tying it up. And that's why that 1870s, you saw more of that buckle going toward the back. It was just that extra fabric from all those big dresses in the 1860s starting to go into the back of the dress. 1870s was the first buckle era. Um, it was really fussy. I'm kind of in that, that type of era. I, there we go. There 
Uh, they had trim over trim over trim. They had bows. They had 1870s. They had a lot. Um, by 1880s, there was a second bustle era because the bustle sort of went away for a little while. And by the 1880s, it came back, and but it was a more streamlined dress. They were starting to move into the 1890s, which was more tailored look. So mm. this is a, called a lobster bustle, and this will pull out the back of the dress. These dresses are so heavy in the back that to give them their shape, they sort of need this uh, bustle. I won't be wearing this today because the skirt I brought is it's the whole thing. It's about to be wearing a pad. So it did wear it. Huh? It did wear it. How would you put it on? It it holds it out. Um, fortunately, the skirt when <laughs> it got made, it didn't have enough fabric. Yep. It just goes yeah. Yeah. yeah, right over what I'm wearing right now is what I would put it on. Okay. So it's got boning in it as well, and, uh, and it goes. Like that, like that. So when anytime you see somebody walk and they look like they have an extra little tail, it's <laughs> so probably in their toes. Yeah, stay there. So Can you turn once your again to the side? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It goes in the front. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> nice, Shana. <Jonathan>. Oh. <laughs> and it gives well, the extra hoop here, so here it, as it well. Can perfect it can go the under the underskirt, which is this. Some mm -hmm. of these. Um, uh, underskirts were made before we started wearing the bustles so that they don't fit under our underskirts. But the underskirts back then would have been made to fit over the top of that as well. So what she's saying is that her skirt doesn't fit over the lobster bustle properly, so that's why she's I not, we're not putting it on right now. So she opts for the, so she opts the bustle. So for the pad, yeah, just a little pad. They did wear these also. They were usually made out of some sort of wire in the back. Or horse so hair. Yeah. Jute, if you will. <laughs> 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 it's like a little pink bug, huh? <laughs> <laughs> and like I said, ladies of stature had several several people helping them, so this was never something that she probably got dressed by herself. They definitely had a lot of help. <laughs> The more fussy the outfit, the more stature they showed, and the more that everybody knew that the husband was wealthy. Mm -hmm. So hence all the hand feeding, hand beating, all the extra embellishments. Um, that was the reason why they were put on these dresses. You were an arm trophy. <laughs> and this is the underskirt. This is called the underskirt, right? How much of this would the husband have? I think that she would be waiting. That would, yeah, that would. It depends on how Randy is. Yeah. Well, I think that would be That is a button on this. They also had hook and eyes, yeah, that some of us have hook and eyes. Or if uh, we popped a button like I just did, then you use the safety pin. <laughs> <laughs> the, the tighter the clothes, the more you look slender. So they did wear everything very fitted. So it looks tight, it is tight, that's the way they wore them. So you did it. You did very little. When you were late to this factory, you did very little. You stood around, you looked pretty. Um, you did very little sitting or lounging or carrying any anything. We have a little less on, yeah. She I might I wear. I have everything that's horseback riding. She wears everything right now that's horseback riding. You oh might wear God. a little bustle pad, but obviously not the lobster bustle wouldn't fit over the horse. So. And a different skirt. I would not wear the skirt riding. There's not enough movement. It's not a split skirt. We actually have a full, almost like a circle skirt. They've got a lot of the different um, layers of ripples in them. So this, this one's called the ripple skirt. And you ride skirt? Yes. yes. I, I ride side saddle, so my skirt, like this one, I can, I, this side ridden side saddle and this one, so we don't have to have the fullness of that. So.
So this is her um, overskirt right here. This is her second layer. This one was, this is the summer? No, the the, uh, um, no. Wash? Yeah. This is called the wash over skirt. And the reason why it was like that is because it had ribbons on the inside. And you could undo those ribbons, let them down, and then wash this fairly easily, and then bring the bustles back up with the ribbons to stretch. So. She's putting on her, um, her main bodice right now. Uh, depending on the event, they use different sleeve lengths. So short sleeve or sleeveless was for elegant evening attire. The longer sleeves were for the day. Uh, what else about this? This is a, like a peplum in the back. She has this entirely embroidered. In the back, it's got her initials on it. Doesn't it have our initials on it? That's hers too, Velvet Rose. Oh, it is. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> She's had the whole front. This is all hand embroidered. Um, there's and it has glass beads in it. Well. Mm -hmm. um, kind of a random thing. This uh, the stripes going downward in the skirt like this. A lot of times um, were the 1880s. In the 1870s, you see more horizontal stripes and horizontal uh, embellishments in the front of the dress. So that's one way to kind of tell the textiles and to date dresses historically. I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. What kind of shoes would you have worn to ride in? You would have ridden with pretty white. Uh, we definitely, these ladies would have ridden all side saddle. Now we are a parade group, so a lot of us ride astride. So we wear boots similar to what she's got on right now. Um, side saddle. You could have gotten away with little shoes like this, or ballerina slippers even. My side saddle has a tiny, I was going to bring it, I just couldn't fit it in my car. It's a tiny little stirrup that looks like a slipper, so they just have little shoes that fit inside that. Uh, which is awesome. Oh. Would it be bad if we were to or off? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Always. Do you see my crutches? Yeah. <laughs>